the one-of-a-kind Megan Rapino leaves behind a remarkable legacy after the U.S.'s final match. It is rare in sport for an athlete to leave behind a legacy like that fostered by Megan Rapino during her remarkable international career. Two World Cup titles and an Olympic gold medal may be enough for many, but the 38-year-old has never been satisfied with sporting achievements. Instead, the midfielder from California became an influential activist, philanthropist, fashion icon and advocate for equal rights in society. On Sunday, fans had the opportunity to celebrate all that she has achieved as Rapino took the court for the final time with the U.S. women's national team, USWNT. The match against South Africa in Chicago, the final match in a two-match series, began with a ceremony to honor the soccer legend. It was great that I got this final opportunity to play for my country in front of our amazing fans and that I got the opportunity to thank my teammates and everyone who has had an influence on me as a person and a player over the years, Rapino said. He said in a statement. Rapino withdrew from her international career after making 203 appearances for the country's national team. Since her debut in 2006, she has scored 63 goals and provided 73 assists, ranking in the top 10 for both categories in U.S. women's national team history. Along the way, she won two World Cup titles, in 2015 and 2019, and took gold at the London Olympics in 2012. But in 2019, Rapino's star has arguably shined brighter. After inspiring her country to World Cup glory, she won the Women's Ballon d'Or and the FIFA Best of the Year Award cementing her status as the best women's player on the planet at the time. It was a tribute to performances that exuded sophistication and confidence, traits encapsulated in an iconic photo taken that same year. After scoring twice against hosts France in the World Cup quarterfinals, Rapino celebrated with what is arguably the most iconic photo of her life. A photo of a triumphant Rapino with her arms outstretched broke the internet, delighted her supporters, and, in fact, angered her critics. This is one of my favorite sports photos of the decade, sports critic Bill Simmons posted at the time. This defiant celebration seemed to reflect not only her sporting success, but also her activism. Throughout her career, Rapino has championed numerous causes including racial equality, women's rights, equal pay, and LGBTQ plus issues, to name a few. Naturally, when talking about such issues, Rapino finds herself among detractors, some more well-known than others. She caused a stir in 2016 when she knelt during the national anthem before a Seattle rain game as a show of solidarity with Colin Kaepernick, the former NFL quarterback whose protests against racial injustice and police brutality drew intense criticism. She continued to do so with the U.S. national team, an icon not appreciated by everyone in the country. Undeterred by the wrath of those she challenged, Rapino also publicly criticized former U.S. President Donald Trump, who publicly hit back at the midfielder in 2019 when she said she would turn down a trip to the White House if the U.S. won the World Cup that year. But even a dispute with her country's president failed to keep her off track. In 2022, she entered the White House, but only this time to receive the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the highest civilian honor in the United States, from President Joe Biden, for her advocacy work. I am truly humbled and honored to be selected for this award by President Biden and feel more inspired and motivated than ever to continue this long history of fighting for the freedoms of all people, Rapino said in a statement. In the words of Emma Lazarus, until we are all free, we will never be free. Rapino, who previously called herself a foot protester, has been an influential figure in her national team's campaign for equal pay. The dispute with the Football Association in her country dates back to March 2019, when the women's team filed a lawsuit over gender discrimination against the U.S. Football Association. After a three-year legal battle, an agreement was eventually reached in 2022 that the women's and men's national teams would receive an equal rate of pay for all friendly matches and tournaments, including the World Cup. It's a bit surreal, to be honest, Rapino said at the time of signing.
We've been in this for a long time and we come from a long history of women who have fought to put the sport in a better place. The thing I'm looking forward to and I'm really proud of is justice coming in the next generation without us having to go through what we went through, it's equal pay across the board going forward. However, there was no fairy tale ending to her glittering international career at this year's Women's World Cup. Before the tournament began, Rapino announced her decision to retire at the end of the season, meaning Australia and New Zealand will host her last competitive international match. In fact, at 38 years old, Rapino is no longer the player she once was, and her role has shifted to making an impact off the bench. And while there wasn't much running in the legs, Rapino's experience was an important asset for a young American team looking to rebuild. But, despite all the success she had previously achieved, her World Cup dreams ended in a heartbreaking penalty shootout. Rapino's final act came when he fired the penalty kick over the crossbar as Sweden eliminated the defending champions in the round of 16, the United States' first ever World Cup exit. A smile of disbelief masked pain as she walked off the field, never to play in a World Cup again. It's a sick joke for me personally, Rapino said after the match. I said to myself, this is a black comedy, I missed a penalty. But many will not remember the missed penalty kick when they look back on their unparalleled international career. Her experience and quality in this field will be greatly missed, but as one can imagine, her work and advocacy outside of this field will continue. As teammate Kelly O'Hara summed up before this year's Women's World Cup, Rapino is one of a kind. There's never been anyone like her, and there probably never will be anyone even close to her.